reflection, refraction and diffraction all affect the direction in which a wave travels. First, let's look at reflection. Reflection is a type of wave behaviour and we're here to talk about it in the great north, north, north east of England, west, east, where we east to talk about it today. That might need a bit of work in the episode this week, Brian. Got to be honest. Do you want to do it? Do it again or just keep that? Nah, so don't look an idiot, do I? Reflection. I went on a Caribbean cruise to see how light reflects. I've brought along this grey box and this uh, mirror and a slit on this Caribbean cruise to show you how light can actually reflect. And uh, it's not dark, is it? It's not going to work this. We've not really thought this through, but it's a bit worse than money this really. Here I am in a secret army base lab. I've come here especially to show you the reflection I couldn't show you on the ship. Light waves reflect particularly well off mirrors. Looking good, eh? Not bad. Not bad for an ugly person. Hey? Could have ironed your shirt. You mean you could have ironed my shirt? All parallel rays of light incident on a shiny surface will reflect off at the same angle. This is called specular reflection. The angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. This is the first law of reflection. Other opaque objects like woods and metals and other everyday objects have very rough surfaces indeed. In fact, if we look at them under a microscope, they're incredibly bumpy. Therefore, the light is scattered in all sorts of different directions. This is called diffuse reflection. The lighthouse behind me that you can see off the uh, on the coast of Whitby, sorry, I mean Princeton, Jamaica, um, proves that light travels in straight lines. But does it always travel in straight lines? I went to Rome to find out. Did I say Whitby, Brian? I did. Can you edit? You can put that together. You can, Brian. But don't make me look an idiot because you've done it before. I'm going. Yeah. You're not going to do it this time. No. Okay, I mean, what have you got against me, Brian? Eh? You mean, off Well, yeah, it did make you go bankrupt. Yeah, there was that time I burned your house down, but it was only once, Brian. God, you don't have all some grudges. Really, I'm going to get a life and get over it, man. Whatever. I then decided to visit Buckingham Palace in London to see if I could find anything interesting about light there. Here we are inside the heart of Buckingham Palace. The palace is home to many great works of art. The painting behind me is of King Charles X, something like that, or 8th or 9th, who knows. And we're here today in Buckingham Palace just to have a look at this painting which reflects light beautifully. White light is made up of all the colours of the rainbow. We can see this when we pass it through a 60 degree prism and the light disperses into a spectrum. Different coloured objects will affect different colours of light. For example, a blue object will only reflect blue light and absorb all the other colours. Apparently the uh... Queen's not very pleased that we shouldn't really be here. Of course, white light is made of many different wavelengths, as can be seen in this wonderful picture here in Buckingham Palace of uh, as King Charles VIII. The different colours reflect different wavelengths of our light. Our eyes detect them. Truly beautiful painting. Hello, Your Majesty. Curtsied. Not disturbing you, are we? Yeah. We are. <laughs> The sun is a luminous object and gives out its own light, whereas celestial objects like the moon and the planets, we only see them because they reflect light. But it's not just light waves that reflect, other waves reflect too. An echo is simply a reflected sound wave. Sound waves reflect best off hard surfaces like these rocks behind me and these cliffs. Let me demonstrate using these cliffs here by the seaside. Lord Lady! Amazing! Truly a marvel of science. Gonna add the echo in later because that doesn't work, does it? It's, it's, it's rubbish to be honest. Yeah? Well, add it later. Good. Let's do this bit out. Let's look at it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll cut it out. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Lord Lady! Amazing, truly 
a marvel of science. Waterways will reflect just like light waves. The angle of incidence is also equal to the angle of reflection, as are found here in Thailand. By studying water waves, you can learn a lot about how other waves behave, like ultraviolet, visible light, etc. I went to Croatia to investigate. Water waves, I hear you say. Water waves, who cares? Well, I'll tell you who cares. I do. Because water waves behave like just about every other wave you can imagine. Sound waves, ultrasound, microwaves, x rays, gamma rays, ultraviolet, you name it, that's how water waves behave. By watching water waves, we can learn how other waves behave too. Water waves can be observed in the lab using a ripple tank. Here we can see some water waves reflecting. It's quite clear to see. However, it's not quite the same as seeing them in real life, out there in the actual sea. Here we have it, God's own ripple tank. Observe in wonder as the waves travel towards the harbour wall and reflect off it. Yes and no. It's really hard to stay calm, isn't it? What did I tell you? It's God's own ripple tank. Oh, the divine beings, or somebody's, if you believe in religion, or if you're an atheist. It's just, it's just the sea. To be honest, it's the sea. We make use of the fact that waves reflect in many different ways. For example, beams of light reflecting down optical fibres to provide us with broadband, the internet, streaming TV, etc. Satellite dishes reflect microwaves from space into antennae for satellite TV. Radar on ships and aeroplanes. Radio waves and microwaves bouncing off the metallic hulls of these vehicles. We beam signals around the world using big radio masts for our mobile phones and other forms of communication. And who can forget infrared waves here in this infrared furnace being used to cook this German sausage. Yes indeed, reflection is a marvellous thing, as I myself reflected in a moment of quiet reflection on my ship as the sun reflected off the sea in the Caribbean. So, there we have it, another day on our Caribbean, 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 Caribbean cruise draws to an end as we sail off, away from the sunset and into the darkness. Let's face it, without the sun and its reflected rays, we all be blind. Lord Driver's Disco? Let's go. Creators, the divine being, someone's anyway. 